Wow, this power supply station actually says what it delivers power to. <laughs> so if you wanted to shut it off, you know who you're shutting off. <laughs> I've never seen that before. That's good management, I think. Not good security. Looks like this one is good for flagpole light, D-duck. Kind of a neat area. I'm glad they allow us to walk around it. All right, got a little membership area, likely used by the yacht club. West access members only. They got a little bar in there. It's pretty neat looking. Doesn't say specifically for the yacht club though. All right, looks like something's plugged in here. Don't plug a vessel shore power in to this outlet. A vessel wiring may be incomplete ground. Well, what's this wire attached to, this yellow and black wire attached to? It looks like it's attached to a vessel. I guess they don't care. It's one of those boat carrier things. I can hear hammering in that boat. That person heard me talking, but uh, they didn't say anything. They got nothing to say. Got the three Amigo cats, stray cats at this marina. Oh, they're running. <laughs> Stray cats. Next to the fish cleaning only station that's closed. So they're at a loss. Okay, getting a little closer look at the fish cleaning only station. They've put a orange net that'll stop people from using it. Also, there's a designated cat area. My God, they got cat food all over. They're fattening these cats up big time. Look at that, just oodles, just pounds and pounds of food. And, the, and, and also sleeping boxes for three. Please do not remove <laughs> TNR program. What's a TNR, a fresh straw? But the cats are sleeping uh, next to the, the pine tree instead. I just killed two mosquitoes in this bathroom, in this heated bathroom. Very concerning. So, if I find two in, in this bathroom, imagine where, imagine how they're camped out in everyone's house and all the building, all the heated buildings around here. All right, the city swimming pool here has some kind of underground deal. Get a closer look at that. Christmas lights up. You can see I already slipped because I was down here once just to check the door. They don't lock it. Could have a lot of chlorine. Yep, I smell it. So if I start getting faint it's because of that chlorine. They leave the lights on, they got it all open. I mean, the uh, swimming pool's closed. All right, I'm scared. Somebody could die from that chlorine. It does have a different smell in there. And there doesn't really seem to be chlorine detectors. They don't have some kind of device that can detect excess levels of chlorine. It smells like the average pool, but it could be odorless. So they got all kinds of these Christmas lights all over. Looks like this uh, is a one-way road. <clears throat> I wait till evening, people start coming in with the lights on, and I'll have to 
drive around. <clears throat> Can't go back the, the way I came in. <clears throat> oh, people drive through here. Hey, Clark, it's full. I don't understand. There's a reference to Clark and they got a camper. It's kind of strange. All right, uh, tuck behind the shed. <clears throat> I'm guessing that they don't care what people think about the displays now. They got these two boxes for feedback, just tossed to the t in hiding. Plastic lids collection. Yeah, I never see that this in parks. <clears throat> All right, next to the park is a cemetery, and the main cemetery is over there, and then they got this open space, and all these spots for unknowns, unknown bones. They got several of these unknown bones buried on the end of the uh, cemetery. They can't even... Well, I guess you gotta look it up, but you don't know what year they were buried, at least. Okay, I thought this little section was only it for unloan, but there's a whole nother area over here. A ton of unknown people buried. Is this some kind of Civil War thing? Because <clears throat> they got a lot of them. This could have been a battleground. Had a lot of people die in a short period of time. Okay, so this cemetery is called the Nickel Cemetery. You can see from 1824. So a lot of these would be unknown because of poor record, record keeping. <clears throat> these might be even be more unknowns, actually. The unknowns don't get heads, significant headstones. Well, I've never seen a grill wrapped in Christmas lights before. Oh, and then they put these red lights to make it look like there's a fire. Alright, it may not be easy to see. Something's knocking down these Christmas lights. And I could put them, I can put them back pretty easily. I think it's a, I think it's deer. I think deer are running into them. See, this one's good. This one got knocked clean off. So, darn deer. Don't they know how to respect the lights? Yeah, something must have been going through knocking these off. I don't know why they'd be laying on the ground. Maybe it was these deer over here. All right, on this, uh, tilter whirl spinny thing this broken piece doesn't give me any confidence christmas in carlisle oh <laughs> turn off your headlights yeah that's right so they're not demanding payment you just kind of throw money in the penguin if you feel like it And then just a little further down, they got penguin in the park entry forms. And you can win something. Where is Piper the penguin? You gotta s s give the right answer where it's where it's at. I should take all these entry forms and then uh, submit mine and be the only one. Chaos for all earthly life, chaos spreading across strife, chaos here and chaos there, chaos spread out everywhere, chaos makes the world go right
So I might be far enough south because look at that. The weather feels fine in my shirt and I'm seeing bugs like that look almost like mosquitoes sometimes flying around. So I don't see it worth going further south just to be exposed to more, more bugs in this more, you know, vegetative area. I feel like every package of dates that I have, I fart out the, the same equivalent weight of the amount of dates. It's just so it's such a gassy fruit, but it tastes so good too. It's hard to refrain. All right, I got 403 and the lights turned on mostly. Just one side of the road. Oh yeah, they're playing baseball. The elves are playing baseball. And uh, there's that Hey Clark, it's full. Not all of the lights are on though. So I guess these will come on later because yeah, down, further down the road they're still off. It's kind of a neat effect trying to make it look like they got a fire in uh, charcoal. And then a fire in the fire pit. But uh, people drive through here, they may not see that, this. Got this tunnel that changes lights. It's kind of neat looking. One string is out though. For a little section. All right, let's check the progress. They have a projected date of fall 2023. Coming fall 2023 and it's December 2nd. <clears throat> I think they've missed some deadlines. Must have had some issues. Still working on the siding. Mostly done. It's not just some empty plot of land. Yeah, there's guys working inside. <clears throat> senior, some kind of a senior community. Yeah, they don't have walls up inside. They got the beams for the walls. I think this is a tile cutter. This is the kind of role I like to see for a campground attendant. Emergency only. Oh. A lot of them let their campground attendancies get over their heads. If they make it clear they're just emergencies, that really humbles them. Okay, this is strange. This campground is really empty. Pretty much, it's all empty. Except they allow a sheriff deputy to sleep here. What's the deal with that? Wait, it's visitor center attendant. Oh, maybe he doesn't sleep here, but his car is running. That's weird. The disclaimer. That's some font there. I find it interesting, this little warning sign. <laughs> All contractors must register at Marina office, furnish proof of public liability insurance equal to the Marina coverage. It's interesting. Thank you for making us the best number one grocery store, IGA. I think it's kind of neat they got these flags that drape over the parking lot. Alright, after a good rain, I gotta be more picky about the ground that this rope touches. <laughs> Last time I used this ground and I got the other rope extremely dirty. And then I look over here and I'm like, this will work. These rocks are pretty dry. The water just seeps seeps below them. 
so I can slam the rope onto these rocks, which is a better uh, surface than this this mud. Spillway regulations, snagging prohibited, bow fishing permitted from boat only. <clears throat> All right, Google recognizes this bridge as something to take a picture of. I got a sign to read. The only suspension bridge in Illinois. Built in 1859. Huh. I wonder if they had any cars or horse and buggies probably went across that that long ago and then maybe cars <clears throat> yeah this car crashed on it early photograph of it two long pipes and probably took a picture from this side and a big history talking about it pretty significant bridge I guess please push bicycles on bridge <laughs> I don't want people riding on the bridge this is uh this seems to be supported by the Army Corps of Engineers and it's part of a Goshen Road. Hmm. Places of interest. A slave house, a spring. <clears throat> hmm. Pretty neat to learn how active this area was back in the early 1800s in various ways from the buffaloes crossing the river to I don't know the economy growing old Abe Lincoln himself crossed this bridge in its older version <clears throat> these people's flag looks a little beat up is this supposed to be some kind of art piece? So I don't see the purpose of uh, how these are formed. Somebody in the neighborhood created some kind of a jungle for themselves. All in their front yard. Man, that's weird. But if they're capable of you know, if that, if that can grow like that, I guess. The hen house? I got a bunch of chickens down here. And they're not, uh, they're a little scared of people. They got nothing to graze on. They tore up all the grass. Too many hens, too many chickens in a small spot. All right, I just want to say I'm a little scared of this catfish. I got it from EGA here in Carlisle. And I just tasted a little piece. I don't think it's completely cooked. But it's, so, it's soft like it is. And when I tasted it, it's very salty. It breaks apart, kind of. It was at a frozen state just like 10 minutes ago, so it's hard to believe that it's already cooked, but it's breaking up like it's cooked. And when I tasted that one piece, it tasted very salty. Something going on with this fish that's not right out of IGA. I don't know if I should eat it. I'm a little scared. Let me also add that it was half the price of what I normally would pay for catfish. $5 for a pound. 
Catfish prices are at like 13 and 14 and up. So for it to be such a cheap price is very suspicious as well. Also, they didn't put any expiration dates. I asked the guy at, regist at the register about that and he said he packed it himself and he said it's fresh. But it's half the price of any other catfish I've seen. Unlike, uh, unlike, uh, except for a catfish cutlets, which would be about this price. All right, I'm really scared of this catfish. It doesn't leave the oil residue at all. There's no oil in that water. For almost a pound of catfish, I usually leave a lot more oil than that. It kind of has the shape of a catfish. It doesn't smell unpleasant like tilapia. There's something off about this stuff. They've removed the fat, for one. It was frozen. It's very salty. Really scares me. <sighs> Alright, I ate it all. We'll see what happens. This is the countdown for <clears throat> something to ha happen. It's short of noon time. All right, I have some suspicions that part of my locking, door locking issues have come from water collecting in this cubby thing. Because it was getting bad, but not just the sponge. The sponges are not wet after last night's rain. Um, it seems like the gloves that I had sitting in here were directing the water into this area further because now the water is not even hitting these sponges. So I might have had something leaning against the door that was directing, channeling the water to go into my car. Whereas now it's, it's not doing that. All right, here we go. Man, this is the kind of rope I want for training. I just got it sitting here. No trespassing. So if I guess I took this rope, rope I'd be, it's kind of beat up anyway. It's in better shape right here. But I need a long one. Man, this kind of rope is like five dollars a, a foot. Where do they buy it? I mean, anywhere you buy it, I've seen on the internet, it's like three to five dollars a foot. No trespassing. Well, I can't trespass if they, if they lock the door. They got this rope. Just as a, a novelty. I think they've had it, I think it rotted off because this is just a section right here. They've, I think it was actually on all of these, um, these, these uh, wooden pieces and then and just rotten, rotted off in sections. Cause there's evidence of this rope being wrapped, something was, Looks like it's wrapped around the post here. Yeah, and then uh, that's why this end is laying here. What a waste of rope. Could use that for my rope training. Yeah, they got cameras all over this place. I wonder if there's some shady activity going on. Look at this. They got a trail cam and it's on, I think. These trail cams are usually are not very reliable. <clears throat> but for some reason, they're making a big deal about it being government property and you can't trespass. And there's really nothing of great value here. It's just an empty building. <clears throat> 
All right, down this trail from that building, got this large sign facing the water. What does it say? <clears throat> Boat mooring. Doesn't really look like anybody's mooring their boats. There's a truck over on the other side of the rock pile. This is concrete. But yeah, this little extension of rock stops the waves from the main body of water. Makes it more mooring friendly. So I bought a bag of spring onions. And man, I just love how they combine well with potatoes. Take a bite a piece of potato and then have a bite of a spring onion. And they go so well together. So I threw that wood away. I'm scared of it. It made me feel different. It smells very strong like iodine. There's just something with the wood uh, heading south. The wood seems more dangerous. But I mean in the north the oak is clearly dangerous. But I think there's more dangerous wood heading south. I, I grabbed a lot of different pieces in the north and didn't have... Where I was discovering problems, but I still I think I had fewer problems, especially with the maple and the pine. As I go further south, the trees are changing. They're smelling different when I cut into them. They're caught, and, and I think they're partly contributing to my rapid heartbeat. I'm afraid I'm going to have a rapid heartbeat tonight. Just going to monitor the situation. All right, it's 7 a.m. I did have trouble sleeping last night. I woke up two, three times with a racing heart, but this time was different because uh, this was a different smell, different tree. It had something going on um, with that iodine smell that was really messing uh, with, my, with me. Um, it's very frustrating. I learned not to, I, I believe is the wood. I learned not to mess with that, the fresh cut wood. Just, you just can't pick any wood and start cutting into it because you're gonna be at risk of some kind of uh, um, chemical that's in it, a natural chemical. I'm glad it's natural because that's less likely to kill me at least. Can I just make these spring greens and radishes my primary greens? How long will a diet of that for greens last? So I have to literally detoxify because I'm full of toxins from that sycamore. And my choices are I'm boiling up some tea and I'm going to be boiling up uh, burdock seed and milk thistle seed. A little barley, but I don't know what the barley will do. Protect my liver and detoxify. And I'm chewing on some uh, some parsley. Help my heart. The longer I stay toxic like this, the more vulnerable I am to infections too. So I gotta start fighting this. I was resting and rested until afternoon with a racing heart the whole time. I need to do other measures besides just resting. All right, I did add a bunch of cayenne pepper to my cereal this morning, but uh, that's not really a detoxifier. It kind of gets the motility going, uh, and that's important too, having motility. But uh, yeah, I do have some de detoxifying herbs in, in here, so I gonna make use of them I don't use them too often I <clears throat> I picked those um, burdock seeds a couple of years ago got ha hair embedded in my hands that was irritating for almost a week but I got a lot of seeds and they should they should last a few years 